Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I wanted to share with you my role with artists and bands and then also my role with record labels because it differs slightly and why I can help and am valuable to both artists and labels just to make that a bit clearer and I also wanted to share how you can find a creative director yourself if that is something that you have no idea where to start with because I have had that question a couple of times so I just thought I'd cover some steps you can take to find your person as well. If you are new here, hi! I make videos every week on vi the visual side of branding and marketing for music artists. So if that is useful to you, then please subscribe and like this video if you like. Okay, so I'm a creative director and my role with music artists and bands is basically taking on all the visual stuff. So it, it alleviates the pressure from them. They can focus on what they're good at, which is the music. And so I would take on the album artwork, the video concepts, merch design, social media branding and the visual side of social media, stage design, styling, fashion styling, and uh, promo photo shoots, photo shoot concepts, that kind of thing. As well as their sort of overall aesthetic and making sure that all that visual stuff coincides with the music, their message and how they communicate as well, because those are all important aspects of branding. So all of these things combined help you to build an online sort of culture and presence and a sort of environment that your fans connect with and can connect with you and each other as well. So that's what sort of branding is. I guess the essence of it is your own little universe that your fans feel a part of. They know visually what they're getting, they know musically what they're getting, and they know how you communicate. So I basically take the visual side of that, so you are then free to focus on the music. For any artists that are doing the DIY route, obviously there is so much to think about. So my job is to basically alleviate some of that pressure. If I work long time with artists, then also all this stuff would evolve and develop as the music grows. So it, was, it would be that natural progression that obviously I or anyone else who works as a creative director with one single artist, they, they grow and develop together, which is really nice because obviously you build that relationship and you know how each other works and the relationship blossoms as well as the music, the brand and the visuals. If I don't work long term with an artist then and sometimes artists already have sort of designers or videographers on board and that's fine. So my job then would just to be basically to give them an overhaul of their branding. So give them some guidelines to stick to, just tweak everything and sort of basically bring it all together. I then create a document that outlines all this stuff and then they can take that away and hand that to anyone else they work with, like any other creative, the designers, the videographers, photographers, they basically have an awareness of their brand, like businesses do, but kind of different. <laughs> so yeah, they are my main roles with artists and bands. So for labels, it's slightly different because they a bigger label would have a creative team and maybe a smaller label would have no one or just one one of me. So within a team, I would be directing and supporting a team of creative specialists and that would be within concepts, overseeing the creative visions for each artist and then directing the specialists and what I need from them, basically. I would also create and define each visual aesthetic for each of the artists on the roster, as well as developing campaigns for either marketing, social media, uh, concepts for videos and photo shoots, that sort of deal. Again, my role here would be much more of the bigger picture kind of role and I would be directing specialists that are much better than me in each of their fields. So for example, photography, videography, graphics, copywriting, I would basically be directing them with the overall picture and the overall vision. I would also be in charge of making sure that all deadlines are met, all the creative stuff is on track within the timeline of the project, and as well as supporting the marketing team closely on any campaigns or projects they had as well, supporting them with graphics or content as they need it. So I think this is a really important role and in some smaller labels, whether it's to do with budget or just choice, this role is sometimes lost. And I just think that's such an error because it's just so crucial. And I think it can really boost the success of the artists and help them build their fan base online. I just think it's just so important. So if you are an indie label and you don't have a creative director, then please get one, I promise. It will pay off. Okay, so if you're an artist and you want to find a creative director, then here are some just some steps or some tips that can help you do that. Bearing in mind, there is no creative director school. They come from all kinds of backgrounds. So my background is mainly graphics, styling and music business. 
others would have choreography or lighting design or production design there is you can come from any background and sort of find yourself excelling in that in that area of a bigger picture kind of person so the first thing i would suggest is to put out in your network who you're looking for explain the role explain what you need from them and explain your sort of vision and just see if anything comes of that. Contact people who also have a large network to see if they can share your post. Yeah, just put the feelers out basically and see if anyone pops up that way. If you're a really new artist or your budget is low slash non-existent, then I would only approach students because it is not fair to ask people to work for free, especially when they've got to this level. You don't sort of just leave school or uni and become a creative director. It does take years of sort of honing and getting knowledge in a lot of areas. So I wouldn't ask someone to work for free unless they're a student because work experience is usually part of a uni course and this could be really, really beneficial work experience for them. So if you wanna go down that route, then the courses that you can contact or consider are production design, graphics, communication design, fashion media and promotion, stage design. Yeah, there's probably more, but they would be the main ones that I would say look out for. And you want a good all-rounder. You don't want a specialist graphics artist or a specialist lighting designer. You need someone who can do everything, but doesn't specialize in one particular area because their specialist area would be I guess branding and being organized and basically bringing all the other elements together so you need a good all-rounder and it doesn't have to be someone who's advertising themselves as a creative director either you could approach someone who you think is capable and right for the role and just sort of take them for coffee and just have a chat and see if something can blossom from that if you have no luck with those things then go to networking events and design fairs and just mingle again you can put out you can give out business cards just chat to as many people as you can and let them know what you're looking for and see if they can recommend anyone or if they have anyone in their network that would be suitable and then do the same online look for forums or facebook groups or just scroll social media and it's an endless task any sort of yeah design related facebook groups even music business facebook groups you have to just reach as many people as possible so they can help you in your search and finally just make sure it's someone you gel with because if these if this person is going to be with you on a long-term basis then they've got to understand your vision you've got to understand them and you've got to work really well together so just get to know them a bit first and maybe give them a couple of one-off projects just to see how they, to see if you're a good match basically and to see how they can, how they take on your work, whether you're happy with it. So yeah, those are my tips. That's what I do. I hope this was helpful and not too bitty. Yeah, good luck and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Bye.